You married this. It's so embarrassing. Hey, I'm cool. I feel like a teenage boy. I'm like, oh, mom, stop. Good morning, guys. So I'm starting today's vlog in my bathroom because we are starting today off with cleaning my bathtub. So as you guys saw the other day, I got this Oh Yuck jetted bathtub cleaner stuff off of Amazon. And so today I'm going to give it a try for the first time. And I also saw that they made a washing machine and a dishwasher cleaner like that same company does. So if I like the tub cleaner as much as I hope I do, I'm going to definitely end up getting those stuff too. So I can keep, you know, all of my appliances nice and clean and fresh and new. So, um, the bottle says the first thing you're supposed to do is fill up your bathtub so that it covers up the jets, and so I have already done that with super hot water. And so the next thing you're supposed to do is fill, or, um, add four ounces of Oh Yuck to tub. And so it has, like, marks on the side of the bottle. It says 4, 8, 12, and so this is a 16-ounce container, so I'm assuming that means that, you know, this would be four ounces, four ounces, four ounces, etc. So, yeah, I'm going to dump this in the tub, and then you're supposed to run with the jets on for 15 minutes and drain it. And, yeah, theoretically your tub will be clean, so we shall see. Alright, so I'm kind of just going to, like, dump it in until it's down to that first mark. Okay, that's probably about good. And now we're going to turn the jets on and wait! All right, while that is running, come on, I am going to start working on getting my office set up a little bit kind of more, you know, I don't know, so you can at least walk through it. There's like just junk all over it because Melissa wants to try and set up my desk this weekend. So I want to make sure there's enough space cleared for her to um, do that. So I'm carrying the munchkin up the stairs because this is the only the second time she's been upstairs and she's just like, she's not about those stairs, which is so weird because she's never had a problem with stairs before this either. So you're just all sorts of weird in the house munchkin. And she's like shaking right now. I'm holding you. You're fine. There is nothing to be scared of. Yeah, just a normal room. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna kind of just move things around to try and make a little more space in here. So here's what my office looks like right now, standing at the door. We just have stuff literally piled up everywhere. We have a little munchkin down on the rug, freaking out a little bit. We have a couple of like boxes that we unpacked and just literally put the stuff on the floor over there, which is gonna be super fun. <laughs> And then swinging back over here, more boxes, more stuff, more furniture, more freaking out Dakota. <laughs> and yeah, definitely, definitely have my work cut out for me. Where are you trying to go, Munch? What's the goal here? She will not walk down those stairs. We tried for like a good couple, like 10 minutes, I think, the first time we brought her here. We tried to get her to go downstairs because obviously we don't want to get her used to being carried up and down the stairs. Um, she would not walk down the stairs like at all. She went up for the first time, would not go down them. So we'll see, we're trying to take it slow. Right now we're just focusing on getting her comfortable in the wood downstairs, which is going very well. But yeah, anyways, I digress. I'm going to try and tackle this office and get it as organized as I possibly can. Wish me luck. <laughs> okay, so I didn't get a whole lot done in my office yet. I ended up taking the little munchkin for a walk because she was just freaking out. But uh, my timer just went off, so we can go see how the tub is looking. Oh my. Well, right off the bat, I see that lovely little corner. That's just, that's gross. All right. Ugh. There we go. Well, that, I assume, is all the gunk that came out of our jets. I hope you guys can see this on camera in person. That's, that's quite nasty. <laughs> the water is also, like, super... You definitely won't be able to see that, I don't think. But it's, like, super milky. Like, it's not clear like it was before. So I assume that's all sorts of less visible gunk and crud. So, ugh, yeah, definitely glad I got this and cleaned this. So, yeah, I'm definitely impressed and will continue to use it. I'll probably end up using it like once a month in my tub, I'm assuming. Um, maybe more if I end up taking baths more frequently, but um, 
Yeah, I'm gonna start off with just once a month. So I'm gonna drain this tub and then scrub out the inside because it says to do that afterwards because obviously all the gunk is gonna be all over the sides of the tub. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, I am all finished scrubbing my tub. It is all clean and fresh and new. I do have a couple more thoughts on the Oyak cleaner and I'll be sharing that in my um, cleaning supply haul that I'm hoping to get filmed on Monday. So yeah, stay tuned for that if you'd like to see you know, my full official thought on that uh, product. But yeah, I'm going to get back to putting together my office for a bit. All right, so I've done a little bit of work in here and it's starting to kind of come together. I'm starting to get like an idea of, you know, where I want everything and how I want my office set up. And I think I'm really excited about the direction it is going. So I was mostly focusing on that half of the room today. I think I'm going to make that little corner like my beauty corner. And then I'm going to make that little corner my desk corner. And so what I'm picturing is obviously over here is going to be my vanity. And then like, you know, the chair is going to go there. And then I'm going to have my big mirror kind of right there, probably. And yeah, just kind of have, you know, those Alex drawers that I had previously with my vanity somewhere over here, either under that table or just next to the vanity like I had it before. And yeah, just kind of have a really cute little, like, beauty corner. I think that'll be really fun. And then over here, I'm going to have my desk. And so what my thoughts with this are... Um, I'm probably going to have like the expedite part of it kind of right there on the wall and then have the desk part of it come out like there so it ends up being like, you know, a U shape overall with like two workspaces and then the expedite in the back. So that's kind of the thought I have going on right now. I want to definitely like see it all set up to finalize, like to decide that is how I want it done, but that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. And then I still need my like crafting section and my filming section or areas. So I was thinking of maybe making this area between the like closet and the door to the room as my filming area. And like, you know, putting my chair and all the stuff over there. I think that might be cute. I think that might be the best area for it. And then I might just put like my crafting stuff, I don't know, maybe like under that window or something. I'm not really sure, but yeah, I'm definitely having fun getting everything all set up and I cannot wait to see it all set up. I'm just, I'm so excited. I love my office. I love my house. I'm just having so much fun. But um, I'm going to take a break from setting up my office and head back downstairs because we still don't have a working dishwasher and I didn't do any of the ditch, any of the dishes yesterday because I kind of assumed that we would have a working dishwasher once that little piece arrived and unfortunately we don't. So I have a ton of dishes again that I have to hand wash. So Oh yeah, and I, we ended up having to get some Dawn dish soap. I had Melissa pick some up at the store for me because my Grove Collaborative order, which has the method soap that I normally use coming with it, isn't gonna get here till tomorrow. And like, we needed to wash some dishes. So I'm gonna head downstairs and get all of that hopefully washed. Well, probably not all of it. I don't think I could fit all of it on our counters to dry. I'm gonna get a large portion of it started. dishes is done I'm going to let all of those dry then I'm going to finish washing all the dishes in the sink then I am going to wash all of the dishes that are loaded in the dishwasher and then I'm going to wash all of the pots and pans and dishes that are still on the stove <laughs> man if I thought dishes were a never-ending task before I am now I am just I will keep my mouth shut from now on as soon as I have my dishwasher back I will be thankful just to have to wash the pots and pans and things that can't go in the dishwasher so that day cannot come soon enough <laughs> And I think I'm going to sit down with this snuggle bug for a second. You are just loving on this couch and this blanket. She has just, she just sleeps here all day long. Not all day long. She's gotten a lot better with the floor. But like, if I think it's getting colder too. And with the hardwoods, it's like, you know, colder in the house. And so she just snuggles up like with the blanket, with all these pillows. And just makes like the comfiest little bed for herself every single day. You're the cutest thing in the world. Yeah. Are you feeling that fall life, huh? Yeah. I mean, it's sweater weather. <laughs> so you're sleeping on mom's sweater? Yeah? All right, I'll let you get back to your nap. Okay, so Melissa got home. Hello, Melissa. And we are actually on our way to run a couple of exciting errands. So first <laughs> up, 
We are stopping at Home Depot. And what are we getting at Home Depot? We are Home Depot's not an exciting stop, but Home Depot's always exciting. Mold and mildew spray and remover. <laughs> because since the dishwasher has been leaking, it, and we didn't notice it for a couple of weeks, I found mold under on um, wood under the sink. Like right next to the dishwasher. Yeah. And so and we're also assuming it's probably behind the dishwasher. I'm assuming so. So yeah, we're going to get mold and mildew killer stuff. Um, we're getting something to keep the crickets mm -hmm. and spiders out of the basement. Because you guys had some nice suggestions, so thank you very much. They are <laughs> abundant and I don't want to sit down there and watch TV with yes, crickets. They're not relaxing. Um, I don't I see I wouldn't mind the crickets so much. It's the dead crickets. Everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. I mean like if there's the one not, in the yeah. corner, I wouldn't care, but like exactly. everywhere. Yeah, there's like okay, you walk down, okay, there's a cricket body. Yeah. <laughs> there's a cricket leg. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and then we're getting a couple other random odds and ends here at uh, Home Depot. And then we'll keep you updated with the rest of the night. <laughs> we're going first. You said Home Depot. No. That's our second step. You just said we're going to Home Depot because it's right near Becca's. We're going to her house first, Okay, though. we're going to Becca's house first, then. Well, what? You said we're going to Home Depot. I meant, like, our first stop after Becca's. Okay, well. We're going to Becca's because we are, it's green. We are watching her kitties this weekend and so we're stopping in for the evening to give them their foods and snacks and pets and snuggles. And then we're going to Home Depot. What was that word? Snuggles. <laughs> okay, we are leaving Becca's. The kitties are all fed. We also spritzed the uh, gecko with some water. <laughs> and she also left us some more of the, um, what's it called? They're champagne gummy bears. What's the company? Sugarfina. Sugarfina champagne gummy bears, and they are amazing. Best gummy bears in the world. So thank you, Becca. Thank you, Becca. <laughs> okay, so we actually made a pit stop at Micro Center because this one wanted to look at computer parts. Computer stuff. Yeah, just... and so we kind of just browsed the I'm store. Blurry. And then, yeah, it's dark. We're all, we're all blurry. Um, so yeah, we were just going to browse the store. We did browse the store, and then we were walking out, and we, we saw... impulse bought. We got fidget blocks. <laughs> so I, I've always wanted one because I saw like when they first came on what was it, this Kickstarter? This is the same one though. I know. I don't not. think they never made the original made one because so many people started copying them. Yeah, so I wanted the original one, but yeah, like yeah. they never got made. So finally got one though. I'm really excited about this. I think it's just so cool how they have all the different like, you know, fidget things. And I'm excited. Melissa already took hers out. They should have made that quiet. But that's the point of some of them. Like, people who like to click pens like like the noise, too. I know, but it, it annoys everybody. Well, you can't do it, like, all over them in public. Okay, yeah, so Melissa got a black and green one. I got a, like, light gray and dark gray one. And I'm super excited. And, and now we're Home driving Depot. over there uh, to Home Depot. <laughs> all right, so we just left Home Depot, and we picked up some mold spray. We got some tape for under the sink. We looked for our backsplash, but they didn't have the particular tile that we have seen at other Home Depots that we want to get. So we were going to try and like check out the prices to like start figuring out a price quote for how much that's going to be when we decide to do that, but we couldn't figure that out. Uh, what else do we do there? Not much. Crooked. Cricket. Oh yeah, we were trying to look for like bug spray or something. We didn't end up getting something because we want to look into our options a little more. So we held off on that. And then after Home Depot, there was actually a Dollar Tree right next to Home Depot, we figured. And so we ran right, ran in there. It was a pretty small one though, so it didn't have a huge selection. And the bins they had weren't, weren't very good and they were not good colors. So we didn't get anything. Now, where are we going, Melissa? That's fine. Why are we going to Best Buy? To buy a dishwasher. To buy a dishwasher. <laughs> so we decided that it's just like the best option for us at this point is to just suck it up and buy a new dishwasher because we were going to buy one within the next like year or two anyways. So you're going to have to wrap that up. Oh, okay. I just got to merge on the highway. Yeah, I can put it down for a second. Way. Okay, so anyways, <laughs> yeah, basically we just decided to just suck it up and buy a new one now rather than put like a whole bunch of money into one that's already, I mean, it's like rusty, it's just kind of gross and grody, like it just, we just decided to get a new one. So we have, it's so old that when I tried to look up the parts to replace some of the parts on it, it said, we don't make these parts, we replace them with this part, and yeah, and they were like, so old that like you know how when like something gets so old and you try and order new parts for it that they're so expensive because it's, it's so, so old. outdated yeah yeah that's where we're at right now i'm like yeah. um so i'm not gonna throw a ton of money into a dishwasher that like 
me out because it's just old. So yeah, so we are getting a new dishwasher. We have one that we have our eye on that's fairly decent. It's not, you know, top of the line, but it's also not, you know, like complete Did you know they make dishwashers like with garbage disposals in them now? Ooh, like that's you just, a good idea. You just literally put the plate in the dishwasher with the food on it. Oh, that's weird. That would be weird. It's so weird. That's a good idea, but that would that would just feel wrong. Yeah. And be like, no. <laughs> but yeah, so we are on our way to potentially buy the dishwasher. I mean, we still have to obviously we haven't seen it in person. We've just looked online. We've taken the measurements, so we know it does fit. So we're gonna go check it out in the store. And if we do like it as much as we think we do, I think we're gonna buy it. Exciting stuff. Why am I blurry? Because it's nighttime, hun. And also I'm closer to the camera. You're in the background. Your Boca. <laughs> All right, so this is the guy that we have been looking at. It is a Samsung dishwasher, and it has the um, kind of like handlebar, I guess, that would match the rest of our appliances in the kitchen. Obviously, it's stainless steel because the rest of our appliances are stainless steel. And it has like buttons on the top, which will be really nice when we have kids because then they can't like, you know, play with them. <laughs> and then here's... Like, <laughs> no, I'm just gonna give him a quick little tour. Here's what the inside looks like. And it rolls out really nicely, which is like important. Has stuff for utensils over there. Lots and lots of room on the bottom for plates and stuff. And then up here, it's really, really cool. So it has like this optional shelf that it's like, I mean, it's kind of locked down now, but um, it can go up or down. So this provides like a second layer or like, you know, basically a third shelf for putting stuff on. It also has these fold out things that you can put wine glass stems in to like wash them and they can kind of hold secure. So yeah. I really like it, and I think this is the one we're gonna go with. I like this one. You like that one? How much is that one? Six thirty. Six thirty. <laughs> it's a bit of a price jump. Just a bit. What is that one? Ooh, clean from every angle. Ooh, and the one that we want has like a leak sensor, so if it starts to leak, it turns off. Ooh. That's cool. And it has like board water shooty blades. Ooh. Fancy. The thing is you get excited about when you turn into an adult. <laughs> All right, we made it back from Best Buy. We bought ourselves a dishwasher. Super exciting, it's arriving on Tuesday. I can't wait. So excited. Me too. Um, but yeah, we are eating dinner. We're having leftover potato and sausage soup. And um, what are we watching? Are we watching Breaking Bad or are we watching Pirates of the Caribbean? We'll just watch Breaking Bad. We'll watch Pirates of the Caribbean tomorrow. Okay, watch Breaking Bad. So you guys will be excited to know that I finally got around to making that Pinterest board that um, I like pin all of the recipes that we've tried and liked and like a lot of them that we've shared with you. There's a couple that we've made either like before we started vlogging or that I don't know that I don't think we've shared on the vlog, but they're mostly things that we have actually shared with you guys on the vlog. And so yeah, I tweeted that link. I'm also going to try and leave it in the description box for you guys in case you're interested in following along. But yeah, I definitely plan to every recipe that we like make and uh, share with you, I'm going to try and pin to that board so you guys can make it for yourselves. And I thought that'd be really fun. But um, we had a nice evening and now we're going to start heading to bed. Hi. Hi. Melissa's busy over there picking out her housewarming gift. <laughs> My housewarming present was the upgraded dryer to like the actual matching one, the nice one that like we wanted. And so Melissa is owed a housewarming present and she thinks she would like a new set of nice headphones. So for gaming, not yeah, like so like a gaming headphones. headphones to like kinda pimp out her gaming station wherever that gets set up. To pimp out my gaming station. To did pimp you out your gaming station. Word? Yes, oh. I did. You married this. It's so embarrassing. Hey. I'm cool. I feel like a teenage boy. I'm like, oh, mom, stop! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's yeah. A little bit of an awkward comparison, huh? I'm tired now. On that note, let's go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Hi! Oh, you see that little head? <laughs> Do you have a little head? You say you have a little head. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. I'm sorry. I was trying to pet. Goodness, you are just all sorts of grumpy. All sorts, of, okay. Sh shoved her way under my arm like, no mom, don't even. <laughs> all right, well, for the third time, give it a <laughs> thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Why did you stop saying good night? Good night. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to on purpose. <laughs> good night. Good night. Good night.